So can you tell us about your team's journey to the final? Yeah, we've had um, we've had a really tough run. So uh, with the underdogs today, so obviously we're the league below the Premier. Um, so it's been tough for us to get here and we're really proud to get here because uh, we probably shouldn't have on merit really, but we have. Um, so the last game we beat Wichall, who won the Premier League, uh, 1-0, uh, which was a, one of our greatest games of the season. Uh, the game before that we beat West Brom Spinney, who was second in our league as well. So we've had a really tough games. We haven't won many by, by more than one. Um, but we've ground our way through we, with really strong team ethic and we've got a really good group of boys. That's, that's great. Can you um, tell us, have you done any specific preparation for today's game? Uh, we haven't. We've we played um, around 17 games in 10 weeks. Um, so we've just had 10 days off, so we've just relaxed more than anything. Um, so no specific preparation. We're unfortunately missing six of our better players today through different reasons. So, um, But at the same time, it gives some of the other lads that have been for us all season a chance to play in the final. So no specific preparation other than winning the league and the cup, which was decent preparation in itself, I suppose. That's right. And how are you, how are you feeling about today's game? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I've, uh, um, I've got to be confident. I think we've, we've won, as I say, league and a cup, semi-final of another competition. Um, you know, it's a great occasion for the boys to be here, and I think when we started the season, we had no expectations to get anywhere near this. So I'm just, I'm very proud of what we've done, and proud to be here today. So I'm, I'm a mixture of nervous excitement and, and pride at the same time. But I'm, I think we're put on a good show today, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, so can you tell us a little bit about your team's journey to the final? Um, the early rounds, we played Redditch, I think from out of our division. Uh, as we progressed, uh, the semi-final was the, the toughest game. We played one of our main rivals out of the, the over 35 Premiership, uh, Sporting Galacticos, and uh, we narrowly beat them on the day, like 2-1. It was a very good, very tight game, uh, which brings us here today, like, you know. Um, can you tell us kind of any preparation that you've had for the final? We, we, this is our eighth final over our history. Uh, we've won five of them. Uh, it's our favourite tournament. Uh, cup tournaments, apart from the league, this is what we target every year. Uh, preparations, we've got ex-professional footballers playing for us. Uh, we try to do it on that scale as near we can. Uh, we're always on top of our game, fully respect the, the opposition and we'll have a good game today. And how are you feeling about today? Uh, always confident with the time that we, we, we go out to win. Uh, that's what you have to do in a cup final.
Okay, so how do you feel the game went today? Um, we came here as strong favourites and we've got to give all respect to the opposition because we, we won the game early doors 2-0 after we substituted the goalkeeper and put one of our fullbacks in goal. Uh, everything was going good for us. Lee Hendry came off. Uh, they pulled it back before half time and should have been in front 3-2 uh, up and deservedly near the end of the first half. We came out, we played better, we had better chances, then we missed the penalty. And then they went and nearly stole the game. We, we equalised late on and the penalties is history. But it's our sixth final win, eighth final, sixth win. We hold the record. He's our captain. So how did you feel when your goalkeeper went off injured really early on? It disrupted us a little bit. Um, thought we adjusted quite well to make another change. Um, went to it up and sat back a little bit and full credit to Lee Field. Um, as Julia said, came out, uh, had a go, put us under pressure. We managed to score at the end and obviously nick it on pens. Fair play to him. How was it on the pitch when obviously you went 2-0 up and then they started coming back? I think we just got a bit complacent, let them back into the game and full credit to them. And um, how would you sum up the experience as a whole? Uh, well, I had a full head of hair before the game started. <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the most stressful finals I've been in, and I've been with uh, Monica 40 years this season, and that was one of the most stressful cup finals that I've experienced as a player and manager. So, what are your initial thoughts on today's game? Um, pride. I think um, the, the set of players that we've got here and, and uh, the desire and heart that they've got and shown to come back. We've gone two 0 down against the side that's got three ex Premier League players in. You fear the worst; it could be five or six. But the spirit we've got in the camp was just absolutely tremendous. And I thought I was so proud today of every single individual player that we had. Everyone put in a, a superb effort, a great performance. And although I'm disappointed to lose on penalties, I'm just massively proud of what we've what we've done and, and how we've played and what we've achieved this season. So, two trophies could have been three. Can't be too disappointed. And I think we we. We hold our heads up high today. So, as a management team, you went 2-0 down quite early on. What are you thinking? Um, I'm not allowed to say that, am I? But basically, I'm thinking this could be a horrible day for us. It could be, it could be five or six. Um, and you panic naturally. You think all my friends, all my family are here, and all that sort of stuff. We're 2-0 down. It could be a horrible day. But then I look around and look at the players that we've got and what they've done all season, and, and, and I know that we've got the ability to turn it around, and we, we did that. Um, and you know, I think everyone that came here today would say we were the side that deserved to win. Um, but Monica are one of the best sides around, and, and we're just delighted to be able to compete from where we've come from in the last two years or so. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud as punch. And what are your kind of ambitions for next year? You hope to be back here again? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm an ambitious guy. I think you know we want to achieve. We want to try and match the Monikers. We want to be up there with them. We've got a long way to go. We know that, but we're building a club. Um, we're building, you know, um, everything around it at the moment is is to build Leafield and, and get us out there as a name. And my ambitions are to, are to be up there at the top, and we'll add a, f a bit of quality into. But we've got a really good group of players, and we don't need to add too much. Just just carry on what we've done this season. I don't think the challenge we've got now is when you've won two trophies and, and got into a final. How do you achieve more than that? So that's the next step for us is to is to build on that and make sure we do ourselves proud in the Premier League again next year. And how would you sum up kind of this cup experience? Fantastic. I think we beat Whitchall in, in the previous round and, and John Boost always wanted to win this competition so I was devastated that we beat him, um, which I enjoyed. Um, but I see why, you know, this this is just what an experience today, you know, over 35 you don't expect to have these opportunities where you're turning up with your names have been announced and all that sort of stuff and video interviews and uh, you think those days are over. Um, and I had a very poor football career so it's nice to have this, this kind of occasion as a manager so but br brilliant event really well run and and we'll definitely be in next year and we'll try and do ourselves better and, and go one step further and get the trophy next year